everyone, and welcome to Hope is Not a Tactic here in the Disrupted TV.com network. I'm your host, Lieutenant Joe. This is not our regularly scheduled program. This is an update, something we wanted to talk about. It's going on today. Uh, currently, there was a, an almost school tragedy uh, in Richmond, Indiana today. Uh, the reports are coming across the wire. Uh, happened this morning about 8 o'clock. Uh, a young man in the middle school. Currently, he used to be a student there, former student. Someone sent a tip in to the school and to the police and let them know that this individual intended to go to the school and commit a school shooting. So the schools all went into lockdown. The police were responding. Uh, from the reports we have on scene right now, it looks like the young man was uh, at the front door. Uh, he fired a shot through the glass, which broke the glass. He entered the school uh, being followed by the police officers. Uh, he ran down a hallway where at some point he stopped and exchanged gunfire with the law enforcement officers uh, and it appears by the reports at this point that the uh, shooter may have committed suicide once he realized uh, he was cornered by the police and there was no place for him to go the students in the school were safe because they were already in lockdown when the tip arrived this is this is vitally important somebody knew something and they reached out and told somebody. So how that tip came in, we'll find that out as the day goes by and I'll get back to you and let you know. One of the things that I talk about all the time when I go to schools is that we know that in almost every one of these instances of school shootings or workplace shootings, there are some if not lots of people who know that the shooter is having a problem and may be violent, but they don't come forward and tell anybody. They don't tell for a couple of reasons. Number one, they don't want to be a rat. They don't want to be the one who came forward to say anything because they don't always believe the person's really going to do it. What if they're wrong and they started a, a big commotion at the school? And number two, there's nobody that they feel they can trust. And when you tear that apart, it uh, doesn't mean they don't trust their teachers or their parents. It's what they, they, there's nobody they can trust to not overreact. You know, you, they come in and tell you something, you go down and grab the kid out of class, start a big thing, and you start pointing, hey, Joe said you're going to do this. So they don't want to get involved. In this particular instance, somebody knew something and told somebody and saved a lot of people today. So one of the things I strongly suggest to all school districts out there is have some mechanism in place where these kids can report things, report tips to you anonymously. Now, back in the day, we would use a phone system. Here's a tip line you can call in. I don't know that many kids know how to use a phone today. They, you know, they have a cell phone, they got all their, their smartphones. So there are lots of tip apps out there that you can put in place where somebody can go on an app anonymously and they can send a tip in to the school to the police and the people can look into it this is vitally important we have to make sure we have a mechanism for kids who want to tell us things to tell us without their concerns uh, that they are going to be um, pointed out that they're the person who did it or whatever in this case it seems to have worked i know I've dealt with some police officers in rural Pennsylvania who told me they had a tip line and twice in five years they received tips about kids who were potentially going to commit violence in the school. They investigated it and they intervened before the violence took place and both times they were correct tips. They were, they were intervening before the violence took place but there most certainly would have been violence. So as of right now uh, we can say that the, the shooter is deceased apparently by a self-inflicted gunshot wound. No one else was injured, and more information will come out through the day. So remember, we have to come up with a way to help these kids tell us that fits their perspective, not ours. Telling them to just come forward and tell you may not work. Look into a tip app. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to me, jpangaro at disruptedtv.com. Uh, I, I can put you in touch with people that make these apps. There's lots of them out there. Some are good, better than others, but I can help you with that. So don't hesitate to reach out. And if you have your own group that you know has an app, put it in place. It's going to help keep people safe. Until later on today, this is your host, Lieutenant Joe Pangaro, for Hope is Not a Tactic. Remember, be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem.